Hi, I'm Joe Hutchings, and this is how to create a drum track in the online version of BandLab. At the top left of the browser window, click on Add Track. Then click on Virtual Instruments on the pop-up menu. At the bottom left of the browser window, click on Instrument. The instrument pane now opens at the bottom of the browser window. At the left side of the instrument pane, click on Grand Piano. Click on Drum Kits on the pop up menu. Then click on Dry on the pop up menu. If you want to record the drums live, at the top left of the browser window, click on the metronome icon, so it turns blue and the metronome is on. Then click on the record icon at the top of the browser window, then either tap on the virtual drum pads in the middle of the instrument pane, or press the letter or number on the virtual pads on your computer's keyboard. Then. Click on the stop icon at the top of the browser window to stop recording. A helpful tip here is to click on the three lines at the top left of the browser window. Click on Settings on the pop-up menu. Then click on Quantize MIDI Settings before you record your drum beat. This will help to keep your recorded drum notes in time with the song tempo. If you don't want to record your beat live, or you have finished recording your live beat, at the bottom left of the browser window, click on MIDI Editor. The MIDI Editor pane will now appear at the bottom of the browser window. If you recorded your drum beat live, the notes will be shown here. Press the left mouse button on the scroll bars and drag the mouse cursor left and right or up and down to move around the MIDI editor grid. The grid has light and grey rows. All the notes on the same row Play the same drum pad sound. The icons to the left of each row show which pad sounds the notes on that row will play. The grid also has vertical lines. The light grey lines mark the beginning of a new bar or measure. The dark grey lines currently mark the one eighth note positions of the bar. To add a note to the MIDI editor, double left mouse click on the grid. To delete a note, double left mouse click on the note. If a note is not in the right place, click on the note. Then press the left mouse button on the note and drag the note left or right. The note will automatically line up with the nearest vertical line on the MIDI editor grid. If you don't want it to automatically line up, at the top right of the browser window, click on the snap icon. So it is no longer blue and snap is turned off.
you can now move the note to exactly where you want it. If all the notes are out of time with the song tempo, press the left mouse button on the MIDI editor grid and drag the mouse across the notes so all the notes are highlighted with a white border. Then press on one of the notes and drag it to the left or right. Or at the left side of the MIDI editor pane. Click on 1 16th. And click on 1 8th on the pop up menu. Then click on Quantize to move the notes to the nearest 1 8th note position on the grid. To change the velocity of a drum note, click on the note. Then at the left side of the MIDI editor pane, click on the line below the word velocity. The number to the right of the word velocity is the velocity of the note. The higher the number, the higher the velocity and volume of the note. For more precise control, press the left mouse button on the line and drag the mouse cursor left or right. To make your beat sound more natural, press the left mouse button on the MIDI editor grid and drag over the notes so they are all highlighted with a white border. Then at the left side of the MIDI editor pane, click on Humanize. Humanize will randomly move some notes slightly ahead or behind the beat. To copy a bar, click on the bar on the track mixer screen so it is highlighted with a white border. If needed, press the left mouse button on the trim icon at the bottom left of the recorded section. Then drag the mouse cursor until the recorded section is trimmed to the beginning of the bar. Then press the left mouse button on the trim icon at the bottom right of the recorded section and drag the mouse cursor until the recorded section is trimmed to the end of the bar. Now right mouse click the bar and click on copy on the pop up menu. Now, left mouse click on the ruler at the top of the track mixer screen to move the white vertical track position marker to the beginning of the bar you want to copy the bar to. Then right mouse click the track and click on paste on the pop up menu. To loop a drum bar, click on the bar on the track mixer screen, so it is highlighted with a white border. Then press the left mouse button on the loop icon at the top right of the bar. And drag the mouse cursor to the right. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.